We are at Scandia, Kansas today, visiting a high yielding corn experiment. The overall idea of this experiment is to try to understand what, which are the best management practices that can uh, allow us increase uh, yields and close the yield gaps. Uh, basically, we have five treatments. Treatment one that I will show you in a moment is what farmers are doing uh, around Kansas. We are trying to uh, um, to show which are the yields uh, that they are obtain obtaining. Uh, so we are taking a look here. This is treatment number one. Okay, the different uh, so our the population here is around 32,000 plants. We are under irrigation, and this only have a, a, a nitrogen application before planting a base nitrogen application. If we move to treatment two, that is the one that is on the left hand side. We are seeing that here we are following a university recommendation for fertilizer uh, for N, P, K and S. Um, so we can see that plants are looking a little bit bigger. Um, we have more green leaves. Um, so this, and, and the color of the leaves is, is quite different if, if you want to compare with the trim, previous treatment. Then we have treatment number three. But basically the difference is that we increase is same as treatment one, but we increase population and we narrow row spacing, trying to push production up. We are going to take a look to that uh, plot now. So this is treatment number three, we can see the 15 inch uh, row spacing. Okay, and we can see how the treatment is looking now at the end of the season. Uh, we can easily identify, I don't know if it is clear in the video, that the green of the leaves is not uh, the same that treatment two that we that we saw before it's more close to treatment one okay the idea now is to visit look what we did in treatment four basically treatment four is a combination of treatment two and treatment and treatment three okay so what we did here we increased population we in our row spacing we are planting at 15 inch row spacing and we did a balanced fertilization for N, P, K, and S, and we went through the system with a second nitrogen application. So you can see the effect uh, later in the season of that application. So we have bigger plants, and we can also see that we have a, a, a quite bigger uh, ears in this case. Okay, so that's the main uh, thing that we that I can show you now. Uh, we are uh, in the next weeks we are planning to harvest and to show. The results of this experiment we are tracking biomass nutrient uptake partition harvest index uh, across the season and this uh, experiment is part of a corn soybean rotation so we have the same setup for soybeans um, so i will show that in, in the next video my name is guillermo Aloa. i'm a phd student at ksu crops at k-state university